guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me in this new adventure here of making corn cob jelly. Look at that. So I decided I'm gonna try making some corn cob jelly. I've never made it before, I've never tasted it before, but I hear it tastes like honey. So we're going to give it a try. We might as well. We don't want to throw away something that can be useful. So I'm just going to put them all in here. And then all we have to do in the beginning of this recipe is to cover our pieces of corn on the cob. See? We're going to cover it with water. And then we're going to basically simmer it for about an hour. So that's going to be perfect timing because I've got the the other, the corn is uh, in the pressure canner now and it's going to go for about 55 minutes. So this will be ready right around about the same time. We're going to put it on the stove and you know bring it to a nice little boil and then Cut it down and just let it simmer for about an hour and let all the juices from this corn on the cob just permeate the juice, the water. You know, you get all kinds of deliciousness all up in all these little kernels up in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so my cobs are boiling and smells really good it's going to be an interesting jelly okay so now we have boiled our corn cobs for about an hour you know kind of slow boil and now i have to drain it i have here a little drainer and I'm using um, inside of here, oh, you can't see it. I'm using a coffee filter. So I'm gonna look for six cups. Beautiful color. It's like a golden brown. Can you see that? It's beautiful, beautiful color. Now for my um, elevation, I only need to water bath this for uh, five minutes. Once I finish straining it, we'll come back and go to the next step. Okay, let's get a little closer so you can see the beautiful, like, golden brown. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Okay, now I've strained the corn cob broth and I'm going to add in, this is two packages of pectin. And this is the pectin that I used. Oops, dropping things, guys, you know that. Okay, this is the pectin, two packages of this, okay? Which came to about 10 tablespoons and we're going to bring it to a boil. Okay, I switch whisk because the other one is a plastic. So I'm going to go with this one. It's safer. And you can notice the foam is building up on it already. And remember I told you that you need to have a really tall uh, pot so that boils you know it's going to rise up and you want to make sure you don't uh, over seal okay so now we're going to add in our sugar and the rule of thumb is a cup of sugar for every cup of broth so we have six cups of broth and we're going to add in six cups 
of sugar. Six cups of sugar. You put it all in at once. It smells really good, guys. And we're going to add in a third of a teaspoon of ground clove. And we're going to bring this to another boil. When you added the sugar, it uh, stopped boiling. So we're going to, oh, that smells wonderful. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought? Corn on the cob. So we're going to stir this. And we're going to boil it for five minutes. Five minutes. And then once we do that, we're going to take it off of the heat and skim the foam off. Five minutes. I have my jars in the oven um, to stay nice and warm. And I have the water bath canner here. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit so that we get a nice um, oil over in the water bath. I only have to do that for five minutes. Let's take this foam off. Coming out pretty easy. Coming out pretty easy. Oh, this is beautiful. It is beautiful. We are going to leave. Let me look at my notes. We are going to leave one fourth inch space. One fourth inch. Okay, so we're going to debubble each one of these. Let's try to get the bubbles out of it. Okay, and we're going to I do not want to distort this wonderful, beautiful taste. So I'm just going to use water. So now we will put our lids on. Everybody gets a lid. And we will take our bands and fingertip just fingertip tight. Oh, fingertip. Nice. Now, all we have to do is, for the altitude that I'm in, we are going to water bath for just five minutes. So, I am now going to place my jars in the water bath canner and I'm going to put in some vinegar so that we can keep the jars nice and clear and beautiful. 
So we're just going to take and drop them in straight in. Okay. Nice. Straight in. Okay. And we would have thrown that away. We, we would have thrown the corn cob away. Okay. So for my altitude, like I said, um, I only needed to process for five minutes. I'm under a thousand feet, so we're going to take these out, straight up and out. And oops, spilling water. But look how beautiful that is. Just like honey. It is beautiful. Get up and out. Heard the pop. Is that one sealed? Morning. Beautiful. This tastes just like honey. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. And remember, how others treat you is their karma. But how you respond, my karma babies, how you respond is your karma. And until the next video, keep on canning, keep on preparing, and get ready. Get ready and be prepared. Stay on point. I love you guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.